It's Tyler check in here at the Houston Championship with team number 1746 Auto. We're here with Ethan and Thomas. Going to look a bit more about the robot. This is the winner of the Forsyth District finalist of the Peace Street Championship. So, guys, let's talk a bit more about what's going on here. I know we have a uh, cool elevator, a nice intake, some cool programming. So, Ethan, what do you want to start us out with here? I like to start with the intake first, highlighting this four bar right here. It's controlled by pneumatics, so it can spring up and down. The advantage of this is that when we go into a ship or a cargo, it actually springs back, so we get some uh, some force acting on it. Additionally, it's of a riveting style, so this piston here, it controls the movement both inward and outward of this intake. Uh, one thing to take note of is that it's pulled back when it's closed, therefore it will never get damaged or hurt. Another thing about the intakes is we utilize a lot of custom plastics that we don't really see much in FRC. Um, this specifically, we use a lot of Raydell um, from our chemical sponsor, Solvay. It provides, it provides shock absorption on our intake. This flex to provide force to the hatches, as well as right here, so any give, it does not, no snapping occurs. So guys, looking at your robot so far, uh, one thing I want to point out is on your elevator, it looks a little familiar to me. Uh, so can you talk a little bit about like where it's from, where your inspiration came from for that as well? So yeah, um, last year in the middle of season, we looked at 148's robot and we thought it was pretty cool. So we ended up building that as our mid-season rebuild for our PCH champs last year. Um, and this year we decided to improve a little bit on it. One thing that we did do is last year when we implemented it, we did a continuous rigging and this year we changed it to cascading. Another thing we did is we changed the materials the rollers were made out of. Um, we, um, originally we had 3D printed them with a carbon fiber infill on our Mentor's 3D printer. Um, but these were custom machined out of a material called Peak also from Solvay. Um, with a high-speed steel on our lathe. 1746 looking really good here. At the time we're filming this in Houston, they are definitely looking great, and we can't wait to see how they perform during the rest of the competition. Good luck to you guys here in Houston. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.